I've picked up some Relic Knights, the Circe Speed Circuit, which uh, that army has a racing theme to them. And I decided to put them on some street bases and just make up my own because they are pretty easy to do. First thing we need is some Epoxy Putty. It's, this is Magic Sculpt, in case you're interested in the brand. And it takes just a little amount to fill in that little concave area on your round lip bases. So just uh, press it on and smooth it out. You can use a little water in your finger and just try to get it as flat as possible. Step number two is to get yourself some sandpaper. Now, I was planning on using 220 grit sandpaper, which is what I had lying around. However, it was a bit too fine. I wanted something more rough. And uh, fortunately, I did have this sanding sponge that I've had for years, which was a bit rougher. I'm not sure the exact grit, maybe 150, 160, who knows. But uh, just press the sandpaper onto the base to get a rough street texture to it and you may have to do a little bit of cleaning up with your tool. Sandpaper would work better than my little foam thing here because the sandpaper you could more easily press into the putty with the foam because the putty wasn't 100% smooth, was a little bit difficult to fill in all the nooks and crannies, but uh, after several pressings, it did come through. Originally, I wanted a desert theme road for these bases, like an old road in the middle of a desert that's cracked and cracked and worn. That did change as the project went on here. However, um, I did want some cracks in the road, so that's what we're doing now. And just using a standard wax carving tool, you can use the back of a hobby knife as well. And just making very short little cuts into the wet epoxy putty. I'm not dragging the wax carving tool along so I'm not making a smooth or a curved straight line. Little tiny jagged cuts so it looks more like actual cracks in a road rather than cuts in the road. So it was my original intention to have this be a asphalt road in the middle, middle of the desert. However, when I thought about the scheme that's going to go onto the figures that are on the base, I uh, decided that wouldn't work. I needed something gray, so I wanted to go with concrete. Second thing I wanted to do was not use an airbrush to show you that you don't need an airbrush for this project. However, I ended up using an airbrush because, again, these guys have an anime theme and I needed a strong, solid, cartoonish looking color. However, I want to show you both ways so you have an option of which way you can go. This way I'm using a cosmetic sponge and just stippling on the color to get a nice concrete look to it. The colors I'm using here are Vallejo model color dark sea gray and over that right now I'm stippling some Vallejo game color stonewall gray. So the texture here is very nice, looks very concrete-ish, however it just wasn't going to work for my anime themed Relic Knights. Since this is supposed to be a road, I did want some painted lane dividers on the bases. And so I started off with a piece of tape, and that piece of tape currently on the base is a guide. That's where the paint's gonna go. And I put that down just so I can get the masking tape that I'm currently applying now in a smooth, straight line. Once this is in place, I can remove that center guideline piece of tape. After everything was taped up and ready for paint, I first decided to stipple on some Vallejo plastic putty, which is marble powder and paint, and it's used for filling gaps. My idea behind this was that if you look on most roads, the painted lines on roads, roads are very thick, and they actually help cover up and protect the concrete or the asphalt. And so that was my idea, just try to have a smoother area where the lane dividers are going to go. Purely optional step, you can skip it if you want. I did airbrush the lane dividers with some Vallejo yellow ochre mixed with flat yellow. Again, you can use the stippling technique as I showed you earlier if you do not have access to an airbrush. But now I'm trying to pick out the edges of all the cracks with some Vallejo 
game color stonewall gray mixed with some model color Iraqi sand. And again, this is for an anime theme, so I want some very bright, overly bright contrast on these bases. However, the mistake I made here was that I should have waited and done the wash first because when I applied the wash, things got a little messy and I had to go back and redo this to clean up the edging that got messed up by the wash. So technique worked fine, but I did it in the wrong order. Do the wash first, then do this near to the end. I felt that my bases were looking a little bit too clean. They are supposed to be for anime figures, however, a road gets dirty, so it needs a little bit of brown, but I want to be very light with the brown, so I'm using some Army Painter Soft Tone ink wash, very thin, just to give a slight brown hue to the street. To get some real good contrast in the cracks, I added a very thick ink wash of brown and black ink, and this is the point where I had to afterwards go back and redo the edging on the cracks because I was a wee bit off applying this wash here and there. At this point I attached the painted figure to the base and dull varnished the entire thing and decided to add a little bit more grime to the base and I did that by using different combinations of black and brown ink mixed with gloss varnish to represent oil and grease and all the other stuff you find on roads. And I did it in three different stages with three different ratios and three different thicknesses of those two inks. So applied one lightly, let it dry, apply one another one a little thicker, then wait, let it dry and apply another one with a little bit of black. So there's a bit of variation to it. And here we have our mostly completed bases. I only have one done because I only have one figure painted so far. We'll be getting into the painting of the figures a little bit down the road. However, uh, hopefully this gives you some ideas how to do street bases. The one big mistake I made here was I originally was planning on a desert asphalt road and that's how I did the cracks. These cracks are more of something you would see through asphalt. Through concrete, cracks tend to be a bit more linear and uh, that's the one thing that's bugging me about these. I will be adding a little bit of grass effects too, but again, I have to get the figures done first and putting them on the bases. But hopefully this gives you some ideas on how to do concrete or asphalt roads. And thanks for watching.